And finally, for today's episode, let's turn to Kenry Hilton for a look at Adventist history. This week, an Adventist school in Australia opens its doors. It was more than a century ago, on January 13, 1907, that Carmel Adventist College in Perth, Australia, opened its doors. This school began as the Darling Range School and started with only two students under Principal Harry Martin. By the end of the year, the number of enrollees had grown to 14. This photograph from the college's website shows the class of 1908, both faculty and students. Principal Harry Martin and his wife Prudence are to the bottom left. Pastor Martin served as both architect and builder when in 1908 the school was relocated to a more suitable location. The building construction projects were assisted by students who worked for about five cents per hour. This was one of the jobs available to students at the time as they were required to balance study with work to help pay part of their school fees. Another job, as shown in this photograph, was making granola to be sold in the city. The school was largely supported by contributions in the form of goods, cash, and volunteer labor from members of the West Australian Conference. This support showed just how much local members valued the institution. Throughout its history, a number of name changes occurred beginning on August 26, 1925, when the name was changed to West Australian Missionary School, and years later, changed to West Australian Missionary College. Today, Carmel Adventist College has an enrollment of over 200 students. It continues to model Christian values and prepare lives for service. We are grateful for the lives it has changed and the significant impact it has had on the students and the community. And that was This Week in Adventist History.